Black Chicago residents outrage over non-stop teen takeovers wreaking havoc in their neighborhood. Wow. wow. So they haven't learned from the Walmart situation. They is wreaking yeah, havoc everywhere. They gotta get that mayor up out of there. The little heathens. They gotta get that mayor up out of that, man. But what could the mayor do? Could he just like stop giving them the forces or send them to the police or something? Yeah, stop giving them excuses. The police Let's not demonize these kids here. They young and they need opportunity. Man, they got your Walmart out of there. Now your hoe, he never went to something again. Yo, Walmart gone. Yo ass out. I would not be surprised if they still vote his ass. They not gonna vote his ass back Jeez. in, bro. Think about that, bro. You can't go to your local Walmart. Walmart well, that's not that's not because of him. That's because of all. He could have stopped. Yeah, I was bro. As the yeah, as the it's mayor, as now. the mayor, though, maybe it's not directly his fault. But as the mayor, hey, he probably yeah, got other yeah. stuff to do. You work for the people, and the people need help. So this is still going on. These kids are just leaving their home and just causing destruction with their friends. Where is their mamas at? Like me and my friends, they never thought about no shit like that. I didn't even we might have hey, not even thought about. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I can't say. I can't say too much for myself. Man, we have caused destruction, but at this level, it's crazy, bro. I was Going into someone's store. That's horrible. And just knocking shit over. Oh, no, I wasn't doing that. That's that's disrespectful. Like that's horrible. That's like spitting somebody's face. Like. Where did you gain nothing from that? You gained literally zero. That that's another level. Okay, well let's see what happened. Did they just raid it? It was really horrible. They had ransacked the store. Vanessa Boyd and other Bronzeville residents describing the tumultuous scene last night at 31st and Michigan. There was a whole bunch of kids out here. They were all in the gas station. They were causing a mess. I know as teenagers we made mistakes, but we have never done anything like this. Hundreds of young people, according to witnesses, migrating from a lakefront gathering to 31st and Michigan. Throwing trash everywhere. The crowd blocking traffic and in a few instances even climbing up on startled motorist hoods before windows were broken out of this nearby BP gas station. These photographs showing the aftermath of what witnesses say was dangerous looting oh. and destruction. Oh. Chicago police called to disperse. They ass whooped. About 150. They need, they need like seven years. Walking on bikes. Uh, uh, detective cars. I see that now. I see what Local we're residents now. in a state of shock wondering how and why this happened. I've been here 22 years now. Oh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I ain't never seen it like this. I always sit back and wonder, what are the parents doing? I just don't understand how the parents let their child even participate in this. I know my parents, if I ever even breathe an idea like this out loud, boy, it's over. This is what they didn't know. They probably, you and mom, I'm going out. Okay, baby. Show the one you I, 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 I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I'm not getting, I'm not going out. They I'm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep Bye, it. Man, I, I know. Gonna, <laughs> it's some kids that their parents is moving their ass in straight. And they still might be out there. Yeah, they yeah, that definitely probably. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if this is going on in, in my city, my they, parents is oh, going go outside. They back. Go play the game. You're going to listen. Now, these teenagers are different, bro. We was in the house on Fortnite. Maybe hitting the love. <laughs> on Fortnite. I don't condone that. <laughs> now, we was on Fortnite just, you know, trying to get on with some feet. Like, I, like, yeah, I, like, oh, I, might, I might go to a party. Look, kick back a song. Well, Fortnite wasn't in high school, bro. Yes, it, it was. was bro, it was not. It was like, it was like, I, 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 for now, when I was in high school, for you. That was my Y'all was in college? Yes. Oh, yeah, I was still in high school. I think. I thought I was a junior. You were the boy. I thought I was a junior. Maybe you was on early. You was a junior. Oh, you were really the boy. Oh, the boy. Like, what could you do to the kids? Unless you see them do something crazy, like throw a rock in the window, kick them my ass here. Pepper spray them, tase them. But just being there? Yeah, they're loitering. Well, well, they actually on top of the cars. Yeah, they're, they're loitering. On top of the car right now. They're, they're loitering. They're in causing a ruckus. But what if that's one of their cars? They're ca they're causing a ruckus. What's the other word? Um, we loud in public. You uh, uh disturbing, the, disturbing, the peace. disturbing the peace. And then you go to the mic and say, if you don't get your ass out of here right now, we're pepper spraying every motherfucking body here. What the we could do is everybody in the house at eight o'clock. If they're they're right. probably not curving. Hey, yeah, if we're curving, the American try to propose that, but he not because he's a doodle head. He's saying. Don't demonize them little bastards in the street. Well, I ain't gonna lie. If they were just chilling, you know, just... They're not. They're just chilling. Not Let's just keep going. I'm not saying if they were... They're watering, <laughs> causing the ruckus, and disturbing their peace. I'm sure there's plenty of other things you can slap on them. Yeah. Okay. Get their ass out of there. Let's see what else they did. They have no purpose. Because Chicago's at it again.
By now, you may have seen some of the They're just chilling. Late, no, late, late Monday night. We're going to be first from Belmont and Belmont Sheridan. Many here jumped off the red line at Belmont, soon blocking traffic and jumping oh, cars. Oh, yeah, this is bad. No violence, but disruption and damage. This smashed up car is just one result. Comedian Dominic Racino had just finished a 9.30 show at Annoyance Theater when he tried to get his car that was parked at 9.25 Belmont. I see like a riot happening down the street and uh, just sort of surrounded by cops that are just like watching. I went up to one of the cops and I said, my car's in there. And he looked at me and he said, you're <laughs> Dominic and his partner uh, had just bought the car as a Christmas gift to one of them. Now it's in the shop worth $15,000 no, worth of damage. Up. Everyone was to, like, well, you got to call your insurance. Option. And we did. And they were like, oh, you don't have the package that covers mob insurance. The there was no the celebration. It was just, just pure chaos. Roddy Hashish is the manager of the Slice Shop. The restaurant the just steps from the Belmont Red Line stop was surrounded. He shared this video he took from inside the store of teens dancing on cars and drinking in the streets. Right away we decided to close both uh, the store and the restaurant and we just we stayed all night watching making sure nobody broke in or you know, nobody compromised our business. CPD officers worked to control the crowd and move them out of the area but the teens left behind a path of destruction. People were horrified by the extent of the damage this morning. I mean, shoe prints on cars, hoods dented, windshields. These aren't their cars? It's terrifying. It's okay, terrifying. It's Grace for one said she even had a gun shot and was too scared to leave her car. It has been very chaotic, and as somebody who's lived in life for honestly the past three years, it's very exactly. ah! I'm serious. You do. A lot of noise in the, the monkeys, they get mad. You shoot that gun, they're gonna get mad. Sorry, man. Sorry. That was, that was funny. That was it was funny. just an example, bro. No, nah, you're right. You're Damn. Right. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Come on, bro. You could have said hogs. Niggas said hogs. I don't know what. Like, you scared hogs. Yeah, I know. Think about how to. I know you people in the suburbs. You go to the chimney. You're chim chim gonna go down to the zoo? It's a zoo down there. It's a zoo out there. You you pop five right now. They're going to get mad. They're gonna pop, Attacking. You shoot that gun, <laughs> they gonna get mad and start attacking. That's a horrible right. idea. Let's keep going, man. Let's see what the rest of us have to say. Talk to your car. What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna say, man. <laughs> People are hoping the city steps up to prevent this from happening again. <laughs> the disappointment doesn't end there. When police ask CTA to help slow the flow, they said that they are not going to stop that station. They're still going to stop. Man, there. police out there shooting their shot. When officers were asked to go to another call, we can't answer that, but we're way outnumbered here. We asked OEMC for a response. We were sent to Police News mm. Affairs who said in a statement, <laughs> CPD works closely with the CTA and the Department of Streets and Sanitation. We frequently collaborate and coordinate in public safety efforts and greatly appreciate their continued partnership oh, and support. <laughs> Chicago police say detectives are investigating Dom's case as well. Come on! <laughs> now, I don't like ah! They beat their white lady ass! Anything is possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But these... Anything's possible. These demon children. <laughs> These demon teens. Now, I knew he did something caught up for real. He did this real. He is doing that on my car. Somebody come outside and I see him again. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna have to zoom through this. I gotta zoom through this. I gotta zoom through this. I am blowing that off. You gonna blow it off the ground. I'm not gonna hit him though. No, no. If he don't mind seeing him, I'm gonna hit him. In Texas, hey, hold on, hold on. In the state of Texas, I see a nigga hitting the chuckle on my sheet. I'm squeezing up 20 rounds. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not gonna kill him, but I'm in the air. In the air. In the air. No, man. No, that's not what you mean when you say you're gonna shoot off 20 of them. Yes, I did. Everybody is fine. It's gonna get more hectic out there. I'm gonna give him a warning. I'm gonna give him a warning. I'm gonna come outside. Hey, bro, get on my whip, man. What y'all doing? What's that shit? If the nigga keep on his head, I'm going to say, you, bitch ass nigga. So you gonna make 20 rounds in the air and then somebody gonna come with a black bitch. Hey, man, bitch. Hey, I'm gonna come with a black bitch. Hey, I'm gonna come with a black bitch. You gonna make the price. What's that like when they. I'm a cop. Cop, I'm a cop, man. I'm a cop, man. Oh, God, right now, they, uh, Youth right summer here, jobs? Says you think any of them little bastards gonna go get a job? For kids since last summer, but that is still well below the job levels we saw before the pandemic. 
chaotic late night so called team takeover. The fact that they're about concerns to get about violence this summer. The zip opportunity. And Mayor Brandon Johnson has long said employment, employment is the answer. There is a tremendous demand here. And so when people speak um, ill of our young people, Brandon, it's why I defend them. Yeah, damn. Because they want the My opportunities. Name's really Brandon. Unveiling his one summer Chicago plan, Brandon. Chicago's largest city managed summer employment program. But to be clear, the program's not The city says in 2023, one summer Chicago anticipates employing close to 24,000 young people across the city. While that's up from last year's close to 21,000 jobs, it doesn't come close to the youth employment stats in 2019 when the city offered kids more than 31,000 jobs. So we are talking about a couple thousand more than last summer. Jen Johnson, Deputy Mayor of Education, Youth and Human Services, pointed out that they've only been working on this since Mayor Johnson's inauguration last month and blamed hiring procedures of different corporations. There are processes that are have to be followed, rules that have to be followed. So I expect to see ongoing growth. Um, and then we're gonna try to look and, and see what we can do to revamp some of those systems and processes. Johnson repeatedly called it an all hands on deck approach with many stakeholders pitching in. Departments in City Hall will be taking on interns. The Chicago Police Department will also be filling about 76 jobs. Even the Chicago Cubs are opening up a pipeline to jobs through their concessions partner. With these jobs that are non-traditional hours, work on the weekends, typically at night, we always have a need for talent. Today was day one of orientation. Yeah, Today, the city says the program has met 80% of its hiring goal. Mm -hmm. I'm still so no, guys, they keep your head to y'all. Y'all want to be, if they had a function like that, y'all ain't going to pull up. No. <laughs> uh, they jumping on people's cars. No, nah, they ain't going to pull up. Y'all know how I get down. How I feel about that. Yeah, he Hell no. He not pulling up. So I might be at that bit, but, but I, 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 I ain't I, a structural type dude. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be at and if the police bleach you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at that bitch, I'm gonna say man, I'm gonna be out there, baby. 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 I'm gonna Man, probably it was like, like they, they was like they, breaking they, it. They got a function like that, and you go, and something happened, and you call, bro, they, something happened. Damn. Bro, do, do, no, do. it looked like the police, look at the video again, bro. It looked Man, like the, the police, police went, they was trying to keep them in the circle, bro. They, they trying to corral the mess from spread. Yeah, they not trying to make them, yeah. It just, they, they, like, yeah, they just, they was letting that just happen, so. I feel like the police. They said, shit, this is more action I had to you. One I, to me, it like the police. I went to that, and you called the, called the game. Bro, something happened. I'm hit. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the game. I'm gonna be like, bro. I can't. Bro, look at this. I can't. Y'all gonna be like, ah. You know, I might slide up to the bit. If the bees at that bit, I probably am gonna <laughs> pull up. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna say them niggas tweaking. But I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna cause no violence. I'm never gonna cause no violence. You cause the problem. You show up. It's some people like that just trying to put their put their knee in and They part the problem. For sure they shot. Bro, if you pull up out there, you are encouraging them. Oh, it's lit. It's a party. Look at that. I'm a man, baby. Them niggas tripping. Let's go to that pee and let's go back to the crib. I'm about to maybe an hour, 30 minutes max. You're about to see what I need to see. You tell me. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's just, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Think about all the scenes we have went to in our last time. I swear to God. That, 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 no like I that, swear to God, ain't no we've female out no We seen somebody get bleed. Yeah. Oh, but not, they weren't. We didn't know that they were in trouble. Yeah. It was a mob of trouble. After the fact. And and everybody, when we had a conversation between two people, not, let's all go f that store up. <laughs> yeah, now that's different. That's, that's different. totally crazy. That's different. That's I would never be around two people. Y'all just say y'all pull up those girls there. Don't back them now. Hey, look. Hey, hey. I'm, they know it is. They got people 
black people, they just messing up. I promise you, it's only a matter of time. Hey, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, you are right, though. We are that we're kind of supporting. It's only a matter of time. When something bad happens to one other You're right. Because it's going to keep happening. And one of the days, police going to be sick of that shit. They're going to suck them going to happen. They're going to rob the king of nigga. Y'all niggas out there? Shit in their mouth. They're going to rob the king of nigga. Justice for Black Lives Matter. 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 Justice for Black you, you, that's what you get for being out there. Sure man, no I'm just on, saying, that's my opinion. My opinion, I'm just saying them niggas tweaking. I, 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 yeah, I, but you are kind of supporting them. I was supporting right? it because you're out there. That's man. like us being that. That's like you the LGBTQ community. Uh, pride break. Okay, that's like us. Okay, that's like us. Listen, you're guilty by association. That's like us going to a scene. That's like us going to a whole scene. That's not a scene. That's a no. That's not a party, my nigga. No, that party was probably supposed to be a scene. People start tweaking. No, because it wasn't at no event. Yeah, yeah bro, no, but they made the old, bro. People would be like, hey, everybody meet up at this one spot. We were all posted. Okay, yeah, we're going to chill. And you're going to go loiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. until I'm thinking we're indoors. Once you outdoor chilling, you're loitering. You're breaking the law. I'm not going. The f what Nigga, is, why would I go outside what, with a bunch of idiots to hang is, out this with, is a city. No, with no purpose? It's a city. We so. live in a city, brother. We no, live in one of cities. My whole Chicago, 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 you gotta be in Chicago. You gotta, you gotta be in Chicago. You gotta, you gotta be in Chicago. Chicago, 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 Chicago. You have to meet up with the people. Have y'all ever lived in Chicago? Yeah, I have been right out there. You know it's a local building. It's not like houses you gonna pull up at the house. You gotta pull up at their building. If somebody called, send me a move, bro. We finna go party outside with no purpose, no music, just a bunch of people. Standing outside. People do that. They was like, we gonna post up at. People do that. But you got to chill. So look, and you think that's a, a recipe for a good time? That sounds like some shit. Some people, some people do that. Idiots. Hey, some people do that. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. You say people say they think they're better than that. I'm better than that. I'm not doing. No, I'm not better than that. every single person that's out there. So I am I, better I, at life than you. I'm not coming to party with you. Okay, I got you. That's my that. opinion. I, I don't give a. You never just say everybody we gonna meet up at this party. Me and my niggas, they used to say we thought we, we was bougie. We wanted to be white because we not open. That's crazy. We popular. We go into the popular people move. We not hang out with y'all. They didn't get invited. They used to tell us y'all think y'all better than us. Y'all want to hang out with us. You got that right, right we do. Because I'm not going. It is true. But in Chicago, you are right though. You got buildings, so like you know. Yeah, they just you gotta move. It's most cool. interviews you see is inside of a building. There's people just I posted on outside. Look like you outside in high school, the locker room, they just chilling and shit. It's not really a house you can pull up to if you in an inner city hood. Now you know the suburbs. You know it's different, a little different. That's what I'm saying. They they just like. But now they are tripping though. It's no justification. I ain't gonna lie. It was just like meet up. You know they got a beach over where they was at, right? Like that's why at the beach. And they just pose it up. They just <laughs> do it. I I just know how, bro. I you trying to justify the violence? No, no. I saying they tweaking, but I just know how people just gonna meet up there. Like I know yeah. that's just gonna be like. It's like obviously, it's causing problems. Yeah, problems. They said they, the, the other the interviews with people was like, I've been here for twenty two years. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Facts. That is true. So why they wasn't doing that for twenty two years? That's what I'm saying. They said they're rioting. They're literally out there. That's what we saying. Though. Yeah, that's but what they're wrong. Go out there and chill, but they are the only ones twenty two years. They're, 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 they're out there. They're literally out there causing destruction. There's no justifying that. No, I'm not saying. That. I'm saying they're tweaking. Yes, but I'm just saying that it just meeting up in like groups to and chill. Yeah. <laughs> they're not chilling though. They're you not chilling. Chill. They're not, not chilling. chilling. When you meet up in the group to cause violence, that's a problem. 